Well, welcome back to Contrastly. My name's Simon Plant, and today we're going to be looking at double exposures. So welcome back. It's July already. I can't quite believe where the time's going, but uh, we're right in the middle of summer. Um, so we've had an email uh, this week from the editor at Contrastly saying that uh, someone had written into him requesting a tutorial, which is absolutely great because it is a bit of a struggle sometimes to come up with new ideas. So uh, if you're thinking about uh, sending in a request, please do so because it is a big help. I can't promise we'll cover cover it, um, but um, if you don't actually don't know, so it does help us no end. Um, so today uh, we've been asked to do a double exposure effect. So we're going to be going into Photoshop with this image, which has already been clipped out from the background, and we're going to have a little bit of fun within Photoshop combining several images. So we are in Photoshop, and as I said, this is a picture I took a while back of my son. He was modelling some football uh, or soccer, if you're from that side of the Atlantic, um, but football kits for uh, a local club that he's uh, uh, plays for uh, here in England. And so it was just shot uh, in a studio with some nice lighting, and then I've clipped out the background. So what we're going to do today, as I said, is we're going to look at uh, maybe overlaying some appropriate images imagery and when I say appropriate imagery I mean the ones I have here which uh, obviously are football related this is the stadium uh, in Spain uh, called the Bernabeu Real Madrid play and I've got a few shots there I did while on the tour and I thought some of them create some nice textures which should fit in quite nicely with this image so what subjects uh, work best? Well, there's no hard and fast rules here, but I've got a couple of tips that I think uh, you should sort of at least consider. Um, I'm going to be working. We're going to be working with this image, so I'm going to be talking mainly about sort of you know overlaying uh, double exposures onto people. You don't have to stick to people, of course. You can use a building, you can use a car, you could use trees, and what have you. If whatever subject really you're shooting, but especially if you're shooting people, just think about what you're doing. You're going to be overlaying other images onto the uh, main subject. So the clothing, for instance, you don't really want them wearing big flowery shirts necessarily. So plain clothing probably would work better. Dark clothing, I know, works well. White clothing could also potentially work quite well. Okay, you really need to clip out the subject from the background the reason being and again there's no hard and fast rules but this is my thinking if you're gonna overlay the uh, other images you want to kind of perhaps restrain them just to the subject you don't really want to be going onto the background so potentially you want to be uh, clipping the backgrounds out on your subject um, some people uh, convert the images to black and white so there's no color uh, information in there and that helps obviously blend the textures together again no hard and fast rules this really is a pure creative process you know you can start off with one idea and come out with something completely different that looks great so just have some fun with it so we have our model we're gonna go into bridge now and we're gonna have a look at some of the pictures I've got now again you know we're only gonna be taking a small part of these textures um, and images uh, to overlay so anything too busy is probably not going to work very well what I think will work well with this and again I don't know we're going to go in and give it a go is maybe some, maybe this, some of this texture of the uh, football net and maybe the goalpost um, or, or this line in the goalpost again I don't know we should just have to suck it and see so let's, let's start off with the net and let's drag this into Photoshop Okay, I'm going to press Command or Control A. That selects all the canvas, and then Command or Control uh, C, copy, and then go over to our main image. Command or Control V to paste. You might get a profile warning. Click OK, and we've got our first image in place. Now, a couple of things um, we'll do. We're going to press Command or Control. A again to select it, Command or Control T. Now that brings up the transform tool. Okay, you might need to zoom out a little bit, and we can just start to scale this a little bit because we're not going to want it completely that big, I don't think. Um, and I'll quite th got an idea. This might look quite nice over his socks, so we're gonna just scale it the best I can. Press Enter, and then. The next thing we need to do is to change the blending mode. Um, so we're going to change it 
you've got several options here. Darken sometimes works well, but not this image. Or Multiply is another blend mode you might find works quite well. Just zoom in a little bit. Uh, that's come out on his knees, but not what we want for this image. The next couple is Lighten, which works very well. And Screen is another one. Okay, The other one that's more likely to work is Soft Light. Okay, that tends to, uh, if you want to fuse like texture into something, soft light is always the first one I go to. It does a, a good good job of kind of fusing two images together uh, for want of a better description. So far on this one, I think uh, that we're going to go for lighten. Okay, remembering we can always change the opacity down a little bit. So we're looking somewhere probably around... 20% okay so that's the first stage of dropping image in and now let's just zoom out and see if we like that or not I don't dislike it so I think we'll leave that in for now I'm gonna add a layer mask to the image and then whoops and then we're gonna get a brush tool okay with the foreground set to black we're gonna drop the opacity the flow down sorry to about nine percent and I'm slowly going to take the effect away from the shorts and his kneecaps. I'm doing this rather quickly and crudely, but just give you an idea. You want to take a bit more time. Um, and take it away from anywhere else. You might not want it, like the shoes, for instance. So at the moment, that layer is just double exposed on top of the socks. Okay, now we can sort of change the opacity a little bit. Bring it up a little bit more if you want to. I don't dislike that. I think because it's quite a large texture, it works quite well uh, with those socks. So let's uh, let's save that. We'll call this one uh, Nets Socks, so we know what we're doing. I'm just going to group these, uh, select all these, sorry, and just chain them together so they don't go moving around. So then we can move on to the next texture. Let's see what else we've got available and see how that fits in with our main subject. Now, something you may have noticed um, is that we haven't actually, although we've masked the areas away from, say, the shorts and the kneecaps and the uh, and the uh, trainers, we haven't masked it off the background, but it's, it's not actually showing up. And that's because we're in a lighten mode, um, screen mode. And um, that, because it's on a white background, means it's not showing up. If we change this to uh, something like multiply, you'll see that it now is showing up on the background as well. So you don't always need to finely mask um, the the image. It depends on what blend mode you use up here. Uh, obviously, if we change this background up to a different colour, then we may have to have a rethink on, you know, we may have to mask this a bit more precisely, which is pretty easy to do. And I'll show you how to do that on the next layer we add in, uh, and if we don't need to, just as an example. Okay, so let's bring our next image in and I've decided I'm going to use this one with the gold post and the corner flag uh, line marked into the pitch because I think it's, it's it's some of these are a little bit too busy I think this one I think will work really well so we're just going to drag that into Photoshop again okay I'm going to uh, press command or control A to select all the layer command or, command or control C get my words out to copy move over to our main image again Command or Control V to paste. You might get a profile warning again. Just click OK. So here we have that layer on top of all our other stuff. Let's just drop down the opacity so we can see what's happening. Okay. I'm going to press Command or Control A again to select all that layer, and then Command or Control T for the transform tool because we need to resize this. Okay. So I'm really just looking for this line here and the corner flag um, markings and that goal um, and we want to reduce the size of this I want that maybe over the shorts I don't need all of it but I'd like some of it over the shorts and that line going in through the chest something like that I think could work quite well press enter once you've got it sized up command or control D to deselect we then can change the blend mode again to either overlay or overlay I'm sorry to lighten or screen that's lighten that screen okay so either one of those I think 
lighting's a bit better, it's retaining a little bit more detail. So the thing we might have to do here is to um a couple of things. We again we're in lighting, so we don't need to worry about it going over to our background if we're keeping the white background. If we were worried about that, remember I've already got this masked out, this background, okay? So if you've got the layer already masked out, you can simply press command or control on that layer and that will load the selection up okay then you can go back to your main layer highlight it with the selection set active and press on the uh, new add layer mask button like so okay and then there that way it shouldn't uh, affect anything it's restraining it basically within the white areas here of our model okay like I said it's not really an issue with this picture okay but what we have got is some harsh lines here and we need to blend this a little bit better and the way we do that is getting not doing that getting the brush tool and again we're just going to brush brush the edges away so that we can just get a better blend okay you could also use the um the gradient tool possibly so we're just going to brush some of this in like so, maybe we don't want it all over there. In fact, what maybe what I should have done, and let's let's do this. Let's just I'm just gonna delete this. I've showed you how to do that. You don't really need that last. I'm gonna actually resize this again. I'm gonna make it gonna make it bigger so we overlap um overlap our model somewhat. Click command click on the layer, command and control T to bring up the transform. I'm just gonna make this bigger again. The reason being not that big is that uh, I'd like to sort of overlap it and make life easier if I can get this to overlap the edges of our model so maybe just I'm just gonna spin this like so it would just help us blend it a bit easier okay that's better press enter command and control D and now we're just going to add a normal layer mask to here and then where the edges are a bit harsh we can just blend those in painting with the brush tool in fact I quite like the way that's going around the uh, the shorts there so painting with white now I'm gonna bring that back there just gonna fade it in a little bit better so again as often is the case with these things it's all about the blending the transitions nicely and i quite like the idea of you know allowing some of that detail underneath to come back in some of the folds in the in the shorts and stuff don't want it on his hand particularly i don't particularly want it on the ball so we're just painting again with black on those areas anywhere you don't want it don't want it on his neck there so much something like that that looks pretty good uh, we could bring it back up a little bit you do want a bit of the underlying layer showing through some of these folds are quite nice in his shorts so I quite like the idea of that so uh, that looks pretty good let's just try screen mode now I think license is the way to go one of the tip you can try is you can also double click on the layer and bring up the layer layer style dialog let me just put this over here this can help you um, blend the uh, layer even more you can perhaps pop out some of the highlights there which I wouldn't recommend on this picture or allow some of the blacks to come through underneath again and I quite like the idea of that it's just allowing some of those textures from the um, shorts to come back through so layer styles can be very powerful I quite like that you don't want it looking too flat like you just slapped a picture over the top you want it to blend a little bit and that's why sometimes uh, I think uh, soft light is a good good option for that but it doesn't always work quite as well as you'd like so that's the final touch I'm just going to go into the uh, the net socks layer uh, down for this part of the image and again bring up the layer styles I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna let some of that black come through from the socks underneath uh, I'm gonna split this slider by pressing the alter option key 
so we get a better transition. Somewhere like that. As I said, you, know, you need to see a little bit of the underlying layer coming through sometimes to make it look a bit more realistic so it blends a bit better. Uh, I think somewhere around there looks pretty good. Yeah, a bit happier with that. So there you have it. It's very quickly done, uh, I admit, but it gives you an idea of how you can get st started on adding some double exposures onto uh, the uh, the image. Uh, but go in and have a play around. As I said, there's no hard and fast rules. It's just about going in and uh, trying ideas out. Um, and then obviously just going in and then afterwards, just make sure that these blend uh, nicely. It doesn't look like it's completely over the top. And I can see here, there's a little bit there on the uh, on the arm i should go in with a brush tool on this very quickly and just uh, maybe just try and uh, just make that look a little bit more blended like so and there you have it well i hope you enjoyed the video as i said if you've got any more ideas for uh, something you'd like us to uh, do a video on then please send it into contrastly and we'll see what we can uh, come up with until the next time thanks for watching